So this car is a 1959 Dodge Corn at Tudor Hardtop. Um, I bought it five, six years ago in Idaho. 100% original car, completely untouched. I found it 30 miles from where it was sold new, sitting on a farm. And uh, a friend of mine from Sweden, or rather his wife, fell in love with the car. So we're restoring the car for her. And it's gonna go to Sweden when it's done. We changed it from baby blue to the red and black. And the interior would be red and black. And uh, good, solid, cross fit car. <coughs> I like the pen job on this. You like the The pen job. Yeah, it, it came out good. It came out good. Is that the one you had painted in uh, Tucson? No, that's inside the other shop. Okay. I'll show it to you. That came out really good. We're having a steering wheel cast in Sweden for it, and we're having a cast cut made in Sweden for it. But really, really solid. See how incredible the floor is. You don't find them like this usually. Yeah. So did you have any rust repair uh, to Just do on the this front one? Floor. All right. They're always rusted on these cars. They leak. Uh, leaks are on the rear window and then it, it gets in out of the rubber mat in the, in the front. Okay. But uh, no exterior rust repair. <coughs> Some chrome is out being redone, but all the chrome that's on the car is original from 59. Wow. The good looking cars there. That was optional and this is optional and everybody likes that. Is there any meaning to these? No. Things? No, just, it's just, just got it. Steady. Just make them look good. Uh -huh. yeah. I like the big taillights. Yeah, they're cool. Uh -huh. They stick out so much that if you back into something, it hits a taillight and they're almost always buckled here. Uh -huh. Probably more than 50% of 59 Dodges have, have worked, uh, have uh, damage that it needs to be repaired. So are the taillights sticking out much than the bumper? Uh, the, the, the bumper ends are sticking out pretty far, but it, apparently they stick out enough that you can bump into things. Uh -huh.